guys, welcome back to today's Christmas Decorate With Me. We're gonna be getting my home decked out in Christmas decor. If you guys missed my Christmas collective haul, you definitely wanna check that video out. I will have it linked down below. But I wanted to start by decorating our living room and I'm just clearing out some items that we have out the way so we have room for our nine foot Christmas tree. I got this Christmas tree last year and I love it. I will link it down below for you guys. It's cold again, but I know we'll be warm sitting by the fire and dream. So this tree comes in a few pieces, but each piece is extremely heavy. I didn't think that I was able to do it myself, but I actually was able to do it by myself this year. I am so proud of myself. One thing that we did last year is we got this tree basket skirt after I had already put the tree together and I had to completely take down the entire tree because the base can only fit there if it's like broken and then expanded, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to say that if you do get this tree skirt, you're definitely going to want to put that down first and then assemble your tree. So favorite things about this Christmas tree is I don't know if you guys saw it but the branches kind of just fall in place I've never had a tree like this ever usually I spend at least 30 minutes fluffing out a Christmas tree this one I probably only spent like five minutes I was so excited because I was able to assemble it myself these pieces are so heavy you guys but I guess my workouts have been paying off because I didn't need any help this time around but here's the tree lit up you can just see it's absolutely breathtaking so now I'm just fluffing out any pieces that needed to be fluffed out but as you can see for the most part it really is just perfect the way it is straight out of the bag So I just wanted to put that tree topper on to kind of get an idea if I wanted to use this topper or another one that I picked up, but I decided I am gonna be using this one, but I went ahead and took it off until we're completely done with the tree. So I'm gonna be using this beaded garland that I got last year. So when I'm draping the beaded garland throughout the tree, I don't want it to look picture perfect. I kind of want it to look like effortless. Like I don't need all the loops to be symmetrical, if you know what I mean, but I do play around with the beaded garland quite a bit to get the perfect like gapping in between each one and I just love the natural element it brings to the Christmas tree to this song So adding this garland was probably the most time consuming part of all of the decorating. It just has to lay perfectly in the tree, otherwise it will fall out. So you kind of have to just weave it in and out of the branches and that's how it's able to be secured and you don't have to worry about anything falling out. So I had to redrape certain pieces and then having to get on and off the ladder since this tree is so tall. And here is how the tree looks with the beaded garland. I love the way it looks. So now that we have that added, we can start adding all of our ornaments. So I'm starting by adding all of the ornaments that I had last year. And then we're gonna be mixing in all of those new ones that I shared with you guys in my Christmas haul. We're gonna be mixing the old with the new. No, 
So I told you all my Christmas theme this year is Old World Christmas and the colors that I'm using on my tree is chocolate brown, which I think is absolutely beautiful and just really matches my home so well. I'm doing a lot of gold, antique gold, white, and I'm also adding in some wood tones, which is my first year doing that on this tree. And I think everything just complements each other so well. And what I love with this theme that I'm doing on my tree is the pop of color is chocolate brown. If I want to switch it up and maybe do red, I can just not add any of the chocolate brown ornaments and add a pop of red. So these ornaments are just timeless. I can use them year after year, which I absolutely love. I might be crazy, but I think you feel it too. Like a vibration right between us with a beautiful two. Could we fall in love in this winter Now that we have all of our old ornaments added to the tree, it is time to add our brand new ones that I picked up this year. These gold ones are stunning and really just made my tree pop this year. And then I also wanted to add some more wood tones. So I picked up these little wooden Christmas trees, which are so adorable. And I love the wood elements on the tree. And then of course, I wanted to add some antique gold ones. I only have three in this video because that's all my store had, but I placed an order for some more. So when those come in, I will definitely be adding a few more to the tree. And of course, I had to get my dogs a brand new sweater for the Christmas season. So I picked them one up every single year. So I actually got them matching sweaters, but the extra small was way too big for Bentley and they didn't have an extra, extra small. So I ended up just picking him up a red one, which I think complements Blissy Girl sweaters so much. And the dogs look absolutely adorable in their Christmas sweaters. Bentley wasn't too happy with me putting that on them, but Blissy Girl loves to put clothes on, so she was so excited about her sweater. So now back to decorating we go. So I wanted to decorate this console that's right underneath our TV. I added those antique gold bells and then also this Merry Christmas sign to hang at the stockings as well as some trees. The only thing that was missing was some garland, but you guys like everywhere is sold out of Christmas garland. So I'm gonna be keeping my eye out for that. I had this garland from last year and I really wanted to add it on this black console because I think it just pops so well. <laughs> So for this console, I didn't want to do too much. I added that garland that you guys saw me add, that picture with the Holy Night lyrics, which I absolutely love, and a collection of Christmas trees, some from last year, some from this year. I think it turned out so cute. I do want to add some twinkle lights in that garland, so that way it just really pops at night. And now I want to decorate our couch. So this is the first year adding Christmas pillows. So I added a selection of pillows to my couch for my fall decor, and I love the way it turned out. It really just made my home feel so cozy. So of course I wanted to do the same thing for Christmas. One thing I like to do when I'm adding pillows is I don't like it to be symmetrical. I like to have like a different selection of pillows. I had so much fun this year picking these up from Target and really just getting ones that coordinate well with each other but aren't the same ones. And the stars up above are smiling when Church bells sing along, and the children. 
whenever I'm decorating, I like to try out a few different options and pick my favorite one. So ultimately I decided to go with this chocolate brown throw at the end of the couch and not use the screen blanket. I'm just gonna put that in the basket so that we can use it when we want to get cozy on the couch. And then I wanted to add some ornaments to this bowl and these reindeers and really just make this coffee table feel nice and festive. Love the way that green blanket looks in that basket and I wanted to add our new nativity center to this console. I thought it was the perfect little home for it. I love the way it looks and then I also have a letters to Santa box that I picked up last year and I love the copper color to it. It really just brings out all of those gold tones that we have on the Christmas tree. So I love picking up a Christmas candle each year. This one smelled like a real Christmas tree, which I love since I'm using an artificial tree. I really tried to use like a balsam scented candle to really make it feel like Christmas in my home. I'm a big person on scent. So this one did just that. I picked it up from Target and it just filled up my entire space, you guys. So highly recommend this candle. It comes in two scents, but I believe this one was the balsam and birch one. And I love it. I'm definitely gonna be picking up more the next time I'm at Target. So now I wanted to add some pops of Christmas to our kitchen. So I wanted to add these wreaths to the back of the bar stools, as well as these velvet bows. I think it just feels so festive and looks so beautiful for the Christmas season. I love decorating my coffee bar for the different holidays. So of course I had to do one for Christmas. So I added our new Christmas mugs as well as my little coffee spoons. And then I played around a couple of times with some different options, but I ultimately decided on the last one. I really wanted to add the little mini Christmas trees that we picked up. I thought it was just the perfect addition to our little coffee bar. Another thing I love to add is festive towels to go on the stove. So since our pop of color this year is green, I thought it would be perfect to add these little dish towels to the stove. And I wanted to decorate our dining table. I'm not gonna set it up fully, but I wanted to give you guys an idea if you're hosting this year for the holiday season. So I had these chargers from last year as well as these green holiday plates. And I love the way they look. And then I added these new napkins that I picked up this year. It did bring in that red color. I I thought I wanted to use like the little napkin um, rings, but then I decided I just liked it plain by itself. This year, coming home to me. Here is how our table turned out. I love the way it looks, it's so fun. I definitely do wanna do another arrangement in the center of the table. So if you have any ideas, you'll have to let me know down in the comments. But this is everything that we were able to get decorated in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed spending the time with me getting my home decorated and ready for Christmas. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Consider hitting that subscribe button. I have a tons more holiday related videos coming your way and I'll see you guys very soon with a brand new video. Bye!
Santa ain't coming around. Trust me.